Yeezy drop. You know what that means? That means drop everything. If you holding it, drop the baby, drop the hope. Well, forget the last one, but drop everything. We are gonna go to uh the Yeezy site. You know, you see he got a twenty dollar bill up there because everything is still twenty dollars. Because I know people seeing the hoodie, like, man, is that twenty dollars? Yes, it's twenty dollars. He got a bunch of stuff on there that's um white and light. Like we got the hoodie, we got the shirt, the pants, the socks, the t shirts. Well, those are for ladies. All the shirts and stuff that's white. All the all the shirts you can see everything that's white. Now let's talk. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna school you guys on something because I know you like man that's white stuff. I'm not gonna buy the white stuff first. Let's look at what we came here for. We came here for the the this this is probably this is probably one thing that everybody saw and was like man wow a hoodie. So this is the Gosha Black Dogs hoodie. And it's in Heather Gray. Now, Heather Gray, just consider it white. Now, a lot of people are like, man, I wouldn't buy a white hoodie. But let me tell you something. I'm a clothing fanatic. The reason you want to buy a white hoodie is because you can take that white hoodie and you can flip it and bounce it. What do I mean by that? You could take the white hoodie. You could dye it blue. You could dye it red. You could dye it gray. So I'm going to get a white hoodie. I suggest you get a white hoodie. Everybody get the white hoodie because if you don't like it, this color, you spill something on it. Even the stuff you got at home, you spill something on it, you dye it. That's what us clothing guys do. And then when you get tired of it, you do stuff like I'm going to do. I'll probably get the thing. First thing I do is I'm going to cut off the sleeves. I'm going to cut off the bottom. You know, that's that's just how I roll. But now let's talk about the design. This is the guy, uh, Gosha. Gosha used to work for uh, Comme de Garçons. Um, Comme de, de Garçons. I don't know why I can't say it right now. But that's what he used to work for. And if you're wondering, if you look it up, what it means, it means like boys. <laughs> stupid it's super funny it's super funny but um he was working for them and um the funny thing about him is he's russian right he's russian and guess who else is russian demna you know kanye's old friend russian so we're getting a lot of the russian punk rock influence so with that being said from here I'm telling you guys, you're going to see a lot of punk rock stuff. You are going to see a lot of punk rock stuff. And that shirt, don't, I know you guys remember the shirt, right? Let's look. Well, well, before we even look at, before we even look at it, let's look at the designer himself. The designer, he doesn't have a picture on here, but he kind of looks like the model that they call the brother or whatever. Here's his Instagram page. You know, here's him with a shirt. I don't know if that's the black dog shirt or not. But uh, here's his Instagram page. If you look up Black Dog, it means all types of stuff. But let's get into this Vultures thing because a lot of people have been hitting me up saying, hey, that Vultures, that Vultures is a, um, is a German coat of arms. And it is a German coat of arms. However, Gosha being Russian and something German, it may or may not be on purpose. My thoughts on where the whole Vulture thing came from is a man by the name of Gil Scott Heron. Now, Gil Scott Heron, he's a very, very, very famous poet, an old school poet. And he made a song called Vulture a long, long, long time ago. And you're saying, oh, man, so so what? He made a song, Vulture. Him and Kanye West were tight, man. These two guys were super duper duper tight. Now, here's Gil Scott Heron. Here's his song, Vulture by Gil Scott Heron. It's a real old song. It's like from the 70s or something. You know, it's a, it's a little crazy-like song, you know. And guess who? worked with Gil Scott Heron and sampled his stuff, Kanye West. Now, if you look, look, what name do you see here? Gil Scott Heron, Kanye West, My Way Home. Come on, if you want this channel, you better know this song. Don't make me mad. You know, I got them black Nikes. You saw the last review. But look, Gil Scott Heron there, Gil Scott Heron here. And you're like, all right, so Kanye did something close to him. Kanye's so crazy. He fights with everybody, blah, blah, blah. But just to prove that they're close, when Gil Scott Heron, he passed away, and I was fortunate enough to actually see him. When he passed away, Kanye spoke 
at his funeral. Now, his funeral was small. It was only like 300 people there, and Kanye West spoke at him. So if you ask me where did the Vulture influence come from, the Vulture came from Gil Scott Heron. And another thing that ties Gil Scott Heron and Kanye West together for this whole Vultures thing is they're both from Chicago. So with that being said, I really think because Gosha probably wouldn't do anything super German, that he had Kanye West said, hey, man, let's do this thing, Vultures, after my buddy, right? After my buddy, Gil Scott Heron, because they were super duper tight. And he just came up with the, all the ideas and stuff. So if you look at this and you look at everything, you look at how everything's dark, how it has all this stuff. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of Russian influence. This is what we're getting over here. A lot of Russian influence. So look for all the clothes. Hey, I would probably expect to see like maybe some leather in the future. It, it, all types of things from Kanye. Who knows what? But that's my bet. But definitely it's going to be a rock and roll state of affair because this guy, he loves rock and roll stuff. You could kind of see how this, this pants and all this stuff. This is like a rock and roll type vibe we're already getting with all the vultures apparel and everything, everything plain, everything a little dark, even the white clothes. So that's my review on the hoodie, definitely go out and get a hoodie. I'm getting a black dog hoodie. I can't wait till it comes in to review it and leave your thoughts below. Do you think that the whole vultures thing is just a name he picked out the air? Or do you think it's an ode to his friend Gil Scott Heron since they worked together? We were super close. Kanye knows all his work. Everybody knows Gil Scott Heron's work. Let, let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right, man. I'm out. Later.